Hello everyone. Here we will study algebraic structure with one binary operation. We will discuss about groupoid, semigroup, monoid, group, abelian group. Let us take A as a non-empty set. and not as a binary operation here not may be the operation addition or multiplication or any other operation a not is called algebraic structure Now if we take say the set of natural numbers n with plus as the binary operation this is also one algebraic structure. Then set of integers z plus also algebraic structure. Here are few notations of important sets of numbers like set of all integers denoted by capital Z, set of all natural numbers denoted by capital N, set of all real numbers denoted by capital R, set of all complex numbers denoted by capital C, set of all rational numbers denoted by capital Q, set of all irrational numbers denoted by capital P. Before going to study groupoid, semigroup, monoid, group, abelian group, we have to know few properties, closure, associative, existence of an identity element, existence of an inverse element, and commutative. Let us take the set of integers z zero plus minus one plus minus two plus minus three so on. Here one and two belongs to z. Let us take the binary operation plus or addition. If we apply this binary operation on these elements 1 plus 2 that is 3. You see 3 belongs to z. This is called closure property. Or we say Z is closed under the binary operation addition. Now let us take three elements. 1, 2, 3 belongs to Z. Then we do this 1 plus 2 plus 3 which is 3 plus 3 is 6. And we do 1 plus 2 plus 3, then we are getting 1 plus 5, which is 6. They are equal. 1 plus 2 plus 3 equal 1 plus 2 plus 3. This is called associative property.
let us take one element say 1 which belongs to z and there exists one element say e which belongs to z if we add 1 plus e if we have the same element 1 then e will be called the identity element In the set Z, 0 is the identity element. Why? Because if we add 0 with all the elements of Z, we will get the same elements. So we can say identity element exists for the set of all integers. Now let's see, is there any element, say A, which belongs to Z such that if we add with 1, we will have the identity element. That is, if we add with minus 1, then we will have 0 for the set of all integers. In this case, A is minus 1. So, this is called inverse element. And minus 1 belongs to Z. So there exists inverse element in the set of all integers. The property for an algebraic structure to be a groupoid is closure. So if we take Z, the set of all integers and addition as the binary operation, then this is a groupoid. Because just now we have seen that if 1 and 2 belongs to Z, then 1 plus 2 equal 3 belongs to Z. Z is closed under the binary operation addition. Therefore, Z plus is a groupoid. Next, properties for an algebraic structure to be a semi-group are closer and associative. Let us take the same example Z plus It is already closed under addition we have seen just now and let's see 1, 2, 3 belongs to Z then 1 plus 2 plus 3 is 6 which is equal 1 plus 2 plus 3. So the associative property also satisfied for the elements of Z under the binary operation addition. So, both the properties are satisfied. Therefore, Z plus is a semi-group. Next, properties for an algebraic structure to be a monoid are closer, associative, and existence of an identity element. We have seen that for the example Z plus, both the properties hold closer and associative. Now let us check for existence of an identity element. 1 and 0 both belongs to Z. And if we add 0 with 1, we are getting 1 again. So, 0 is the additive identity. Therefore, identity element exists in the set of integers. Hence, 
Z class is a monoid. Next, properties for an algebraic structure to be a group are closer, associative, existence of an identity element, existence of an inverse element. Closer, associative and existence of an identity element just now we have seen. Now let us say that whether any inverse element exists or not. One and minus one both belongs to Z. If we add minus one with one, we are getting zero, which is the identity element of Z and zero belongs to Z. Therefore, the inverse element exists. Hence, Z plus is a group. Properties for an algebraic structure to be an abelian group are closer, associative, existence of an identity element, existence of an inverse element and commutative. We have seen that Z plus is a group that is all these four properties are satisfied. Now let's check for commutative. 1 and 2 both belongs to Z. 1 plus 2 is 3 and we can write 2 plus 1 changing the position of 1 and 2. Therefore, Z plus is an abelian group. Now let's match these two columns. Groupoid is for closer, semigroup for closer and associative, monoid is for closer, associative and existence of identity element, group is for closer associative existence of identity element existence of inverse element abelian group is for all the properties here we have to show the set of all integers forms an abelian group under the binary operation addition so this thing already we have done and here we have to show that the set of all n by n non-singular real matrices forms a non-abelian group under matrix multiplication. Let us take one example of 2 by 2 matrix A, B, 0, C where a, B, C are real numbers. Say M equals to this matrix. Then we have to show that M under multiplication is a non abelian group. Let us take A as one, 
and B 4 5 0 6 where 1 2 3 4 5 6 all are real numbers therefore A and B they belongs to M now let us find AB AB is the multiplication of these two matrices 1, 2, 0, 3, 4, 5, 0, 6. As you know the matrix multiplication, 1, 2, 4, 0, that is 4, 0, 3, 4, 0, that is 0, 1, 2, 5, 6, 5 plus 12, 17, 0, 3, 5, 6, 18. Here we see 4, 17, 18 are real numbers and AB belongs to M. Therefore, M under multiplication is closed. Closure property satisfies. Now let us find the associative property A, B, C, A, B, C, where let us take C as minus one. 1, 2, 0. Let us find ABC. ABC. AB already found 4, 17, 0, 18 and C is minus 1, 1, 0, 2. So we have minus 4, 0, 4 plus 34, 38, 36. Now let us see A, B, C. So A is 1, 2, 0, 3. And B, C. Let us find B, C. 4, 5, 0, 6. And minus 1, 1, 0, 2. So BC is minus 4, 0, 4 plus 10, 14, 0 plus 12. So minus 4, 14, 0, 12. Now let us multiply. Minus 4, 0. 14 plus 24, 38, 36. You see these two matrices are equal. Therefore, ABC is equal to ABC. Associative property satisfied. Hence, M under multiplication is a semigroup. Now let us check whether there is any identity element or not.
a i equals to a a is 1 2 0 3 if we take 1 0 0 1 the identity matrix then we will have 1 2 0 3 and we see 1 and 1 are real 1 0 0 1 it belongs to capital M therefore the identity element exists hence M multiplication is a monoid. Now let's check is there any inverse? A A inverse should be I. So what is A inverse? A inverse is adjoint A divided by determinant A. Adjoint A means the cofactors of A and the transpose of that. So 1, 2, 0, 3 is cofactors. 3, 0, 2, 1, transpose and determinant a is 3 minus 0 that is 3 so this is one third and transpose of this matrix is 3 minus 2 0 1 and this one is 1 minus 2 third 0 1 third here 1 minus 2 third, 1 third all are real. So this belongs to M. Therefore the inverse element exists or inverse matrix exists. And M multiplication is a group. Next we have to check that commutative property satisfied or not. To check that we have to see a b equals to b a whether this property is satisfied or not. So a b is already found a b is 4 17 0 18. Now let us find b a. 4, 5, 0, 6, 1, 2, 0, 3. First row, first column, 4, 0. First row, second column, 23. Second row, second column, 18. So this is not equals to 4, 17, 0, 18. Hence, AB not equals to BA, which implies commutative property is not satisfied. Hence, M multiplication is not an abelian group. Next, show that the set of all rational numbers is an abelian group with respect to addition. 
the set of all natural numbers is not a group with respect to multiplication the set of all even integers forms an additive abelian group the set of all odd integers does not form a group with respect to addition so try all of this work out yourself show that the set g of all non zero real numbers form a commutative group under the operation star defined by a star b equal ab by 2 where a and b belongs to g since a and b are real ab is also real and ab belongs to g which imply ab by 2 belongs to g multiplication of two real numbers is a real number ab by 2 is also a real number therefore ab by 2 belongs to g hence g star is closed or the closure property satisfied under the operation star now let us check the associative property we have to check a star b star c equal a star b star c so let's see the left hand side a star b c by 2 it is given where a b c all are reals and belongs to g now a b c by 4 let's see for right hand side a b by 2 star c so a b c by 4 therefore left hand side equal right hand side hence the associative property is satisfied in other way we can say g star is a semi group now let's check for the existence of the identity element let e be real and belongs to g a star e should be a if e is the identity element according to the condition given a star e is a e by 2 which is equal a therefore e is 2 2 is real 2 belongs to g therefore 2 is the identity element hence identity element exists in g therefore g star is a monoid now let us check for inverse element let a inverse belongs to g a star 
a inverse equals to e if a inverse is the inverse element of a according to the condition a star a inverse is a a inverse by 2 and this e is 2 already we have found so a inverse is 4 by a 4 by a is a real number 4 by a belongs to g therefore inverse element exists in g hence g star is a group now let us check for commutative property A star B should be B star A. So left hand side is AB by 2. Right hand side is BA by 2. A and B both are reals. AB by 2 is also real. Therefore, AB equals to BA because they are reals. Multiplication of real numbers are commutative. So, AB by 2 equals to BA by 2. Hence, A star B equals to B star A. Therefore, the commutative property holds for G star. In other way, we can say G star is an abelian group. Next question is, show that all roots of the equations x to the power 4 minus 1 equals to 0 forms a commutative group under the operation multiplication. Roots of the equations are So the roots are one minus one i minus i. Let us take a set G with all the roots one minus one i minus i. Now we have to show that G multiplication is an abelian group. Let us make the composition table. With multiplication 1 minus 1 i minus i. 1 minus 1 i minus i. 1 multiplied by 1, 1, 1 multiplied by minus 1, minus 1, 1 multiplied by i, i, 1 multiplied by minus i, minus i, minus 1, 1, minus 1, minus, minus, plus 1, minus 1, i, minus i, minus 1, minus i, plus i, i, 1, i, i, minus 1, minus i, 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 i square minus 1 i minus i minus i square that is plus 1 minus i 1 minus i minus i minus 1 plus i minus i i minus i square that is plus 1 minus i minus i plus i square that is minus 1 so this is the composition table and here we see that g multiplication is closed if we take one multiplication one we are getting one which belongs to g here we see if we do the multiplication 
with any two elements then we are getting any element belongs to g therefore g multiplication is closed let us take 1 minus 1 and i to check the associative property so 1 multiplied by minus 1 then multiplied by i is minus 1 multiplied by i which is minus i now 1 multiplied by minus 1 multiplied by i equal 1 minus i which is minus i they are equal therefore associative property satisfied now let us check that existence of identity element here we see if we multiply by 1 with each of the element of g then we will get the same element of g so the identity element is one now let us check for the inverse here we see that one is the inverse of one because if we multiply by one then we are getting identity element one again a minus one is the inverse of minus one because if we multiply minus 1 and minus 1 we are getting plus 1 again i is the inverse element of minus i because if we multiply these two we are getting 1 so from here we can say that i is the inverse element of minus i and minus i is the inverse element of i so the inverse element exist in g therefore g multiplication is a group now we have to check that commutative property holds or not let's take 1 and i 1 into i is i into 1 they are same therefore commutative property holds it holds for i multiplied by minus i you see minus i square that is plus 1 and minus i into i so minus i square which is 1 therefore they are equal and commutative property is satisfied hence g multiplication is an abelian group.